Macbeth by William Shakespeare English Short Summary 1 Macbeth, the ruler of Glamis, receives a prophecy from the three witches that he will be Corder's governor and later king of Scotland. And his friend Bonk will be the king's father in the future. Meanwhile Macorrit and Macdonwald fought a war between Macbeth and Macdonwald at king's command to betray Macdonwald to King Duncan, Corder's current ruler. The king was pleased to announce Macbeth's name as Corder's next ruler. So the first part of the witch's prophecy comes true. And in Macbeth's ambition to become king of Scotland was awakened. After hearing everything, Macbeth's wife, Lady Macbeth, says that she will help him kill the king, including giving him full advice. Lady Macbeth persuaded her to take the opportunity of becoming king at any cost. One night King Duncan accompanied Macbeth and his son to the Inverness fortress. And there he stayed the night. He announced his son as the next king. That night Macbeth, with the help of his wife, took sleeping pills and stabbed King Duncan of Scotland to death while stabbing him and accused him of killing the guards in the morning. The king's sons Malcolm and Donal Bain fled the state that night. Macbeth later became king of Scotland. Macbeth, Banquo and the witches Macbeth's close friend Banquo was present while prophesying the witches. He suspects that Macbeth is behind the assassination of King Duncan. Macbeth later sends two men to kill his friend Banquo and Banquo's son Fleans to protect himself. Because according to the witch's prophecy, Fleans would later become king. His assassins kill Banquo. But Banquo's son Fleans fled the state. Meanwhile, Duncan's two sons escaped and began planning hard against Macbeth. One of their friends was also named Macduff. Macbeth sent men to kill him. Because he also suspected Macbeth as the king's killer. Macbeth's men kill his son and wife without him. Later Macduff became saddened to learn all this. He plans to avenge Macbeth from England. Later Duncan's sons Malcolm and Macduff combine their two forces to prepare for war. Lady Macbeth, meanwhile, commits suicide at one time in agony for the murder of King Duncan. Upon his death Macbeth broke down mentally. Later Macbeth again receives a prophecy from the witches that none of the women was born or harm him. Knowing this Macbeth was convinced that no one could do him any harm. Because all human beings are born in the mother's womb by natural means. Meanwhile, Macduff was at war with Macbeth with his troops as planned. Later Macbeth learns that Macduff, like everyone else, is not born naturally in the womb. He was a man born through Caesar. As such he had the ability to defeat Macbeth. It was too late for Macbeth to realize this. King Macbeth died at the hands of Macduff at the end of the play. This is how all the prophecies of the witches come true. Madcuff finally announces Malcolm, the son of the previous king, as the next king. Sitting in the king's seat, Malcolm promises that he will establish Scotland as a fully peaceful state. 